my God. Yeah. Hi, my ah, se, se dije en el búnker. Good evening a todos. Nice to meet you. ¿Qué tal, tal seguiste, Marvin? Creo que estos dos días son de la, donde uno suda la calentura o lo que sea que uno tenga que sudar. O sea que, o sea que tenés COVID, viejo. No, no creo. No creo. Estuviera... No cree. No cree. <risa> no, no, no. no. ¿Estás seguro que no? Creo que ya me dio una vez y, y era, era, los síntomas eran más fuertes. Ah. Y estos dos días me entró, pero bien fuerte. Como ahora todo a tipo de, de, de temperatura so, y todo eso por lado. Solo, sí. que, solo, uh -huh. solo que sea una variante. Que eso sí puede ah, ser. Pues, sí. Are you tired, Marty? Hello? Oh. Are you tired? Are you tired? Hello? Are you tired? You sick? Tired and sick? sick Cansado and... y enfermo. Sick. Yes. I'm in a flu. Oh, okay. Very, sick. Very strong. Uh, do you listen to oh. me? Hello? <clears throat> oh my God. Hi. Hi. Good evening, teacher. No, oh, I, I don't know. I just... Oh. Au, toro sentado. Au, toro sentado. Un saludo de los indios. Good evening, guys. Elvis. Good evening, Elvis. Good to see you. And um, everything is okay for you now, guys? Casi no le escucha, teacher. Como que está hablando como a dos kilómetros de distancia del micrófono. Let me check. Let's see. Uh, What? ¿Me escuchan ahora? No sé si me escuchan ahora. Yes. Uh, yes, yes. Yes, oh, yes. Sorry. Yes, listen. Ya, yeah, este tenía otro otro type of speaker, like the same system, microphone like. Sí, que se, se oía como que estaba como de aquí a bueno, de aquí a Santa Ana, San Salvador. <laughs> well, guys, it's actually a pleasure to, you know, to be there. I'm ready to ready to. Oh, Hi guys. Sorry? Hi teacher. Hi. Okay. So We're gonna like start today, guys. We're working also with different topics. What I really love about this topic is like most of the time those activities are like like the the goal about the strategy for this one is that we can um produce the language, and I really like it because at this level that we are pre advanced because you go on next next step or the next course will be advanced one is that you start producing the language at this level basic one basic two, and then uh, inter pre-intermediate, intermediate one, intermediate two. So we are like uh, being prepared for uh, advanced. And now you are in a step uh, for going to advanced. And also this program is like pushing you to speak, to produce the language, to communicate. And that's very interesting because we, we have a great advantage, especially uh, with the communication skills. And um, because sometimes happen that in our process, um, we don't practice too much. We need to, like to give and a step up and to produce and speak and practice. So it's a good strategy. Also, like watching television in English could be very helpful. Watching movies or series, reading a book, you can learn new vocabulary. So there are like great tools nowadays for studying. For example, there are some applications um, in your cell phones that you can download now and also practice, you know, exercises, depending what English level it is. So we are like um, trying to get uh, valuable information, especially with English. So before that we start, I just want to ask you guys, um, what do you remember we started in the last class? Do you remember what we started, what information we developed? Last night topic was um, a call you call to do me a favor. Uh, uh, request favors. with models mm -hmm. if clauses and gerunds. Excellent. Amazing. What else would you like to add about this um, this information? What else would you like to add? What other information would you like to include? Because we work in groups. Do you remember that we work in groups? Hello? 
Hello. We see um, papers. Uh, papers dislike. Ah, awesome. Yeah, that's right. Yes, we also discuss about some favors that perhaps for us, it would be like, like, no, so good. We don't feel comfortable with that. And we're like, I don't want to do that. And also we are like, okay, I have to do it. And also we're going to have a different topic to share today. And I just want to see, well, do you see the presentation right here in, in the screen? Yes, teacher. Excellent. All right. So let's see what happened. And also, um, it's important to, you know, practice with friends. Do you have friends who speak English? Do you have friends who speak English? Or not? Um, no, you don't have friends that you can also chat because that can help. Uh, suddenly you are, uh, you know, a, a person is a friend of yours or a relative and you can also practice English. And that is another strategy too. So you can practice your English. Okay, we're going to talk about indirect request, especially when we need to ask something to someone or we need that someone do something for us and we use indirect equations. And we're gonna start with the first activity. And look at this one, an informal email request. Look at this one, look at this. Okay, it says write an email to a classmate asking for several favors. Explain why you need help. This is what you have to do. Look at examples here. Look at this one. Um, write an email to uh, a classmate asking for several favors. Um, you are like, oh, I'm a friend. I need this one. And could you do me a favor to this one? It, don't won't you mind if you can borrow me this one? Can I have your card? So you you can ask like different requests or favors that you would like to ask this person. Exchange emails. Write a reply accepting or dec or declining the request. Entonces, va a escribir un correo. A, a un compañero, por ejemplo, César le puede escribir a Marvin, o Morena le puede escribir a César, o, I don't know, maybe a friend, Jaime le puede escribir a Karen, so it's going to be up to you, you have to be creative. Usted ve ahí los nombres de los que están en el grupo, y a esa persona usted le va a hacer un, un correo, ¿ok? Y le va a explicar eh, why you need help, uh, the reasons why. Uh, hi, Jaime, it's a great pleasure to greet you, my friend. The reasons why I'm sharing here is because I need a favor. Well, the thing, is, the thing is that I had my car and suddenly and the battery doesn't work and I had to go to my work. Um, uh, the problem is that I can go in taxi because I need to go as soon as possible. And I have some valuable things that I have in my luggage. So I need someone, um, a confident person that can help me to bring to go to bring me to one place with with the wallet because I have some money there. So could you do me a favor to bring me to the airport or something like that? And also you can explain the reasons why. Y ahí vemos el ejemplo, el de Lawrence. Veamos eh, un ejemplo. Um, vamos a ver. ¿Quién nos ayuda a leer este? Who wants to help us read this one? Tell me. Me, teacher. Thank you. From Lance Helms to Lucy Wu, so that favors. Um, hey, Lucy, I really need a few small favors. I had a terrible call last week and I missed a couple of classes. I wonder if I could borrow your nuts also. Okay, so you can also include some other things because the goal about this, this email is that you can ask for several favors. In that case, uh, the one of the few favors that, you know, is asking um, if you can borrow me your notes. Also, okay, could you go to the drugstore and get me some pills? Or could, could you call me a doctor that can check how I am? So, entonces, usted le puede agregar otro tipo de favores que le gustaría, eh, en este caso, pues, solicitar. Y luego dice, per work, exchange emails. 
Write a reply accepting or declining the request. En este caso, pues vemos el siguiente ejemplo. En, vamos a ver. Uh, another volunteer for helping me to. Uh, me teacher. Thank you. Thanks. Okay. Sorry. Um, Frank, Lucy, and two lens hands. Subject favors. Lens, I'm really sorry, but I can't do any and the things you want. First, I need my notes this weekend to study. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Oh yeah, that's right. In that case, you can you can appreciate here um this this part. So um, ahí puede ver que le responde, I'm sorry, but I can't do any of the things you want. First, I need my notes this weekend to study and then the compliment. En este caso, el primero, pues usted va a crear uno y la parte B sería per work, exchange emails. Como en este caso es online, eh, lo que usted va a hacer es que la persona que va a escuchar le va a contestar. En este caso, it's going to be orderly because you cannot share um, the writing. Y va a darle como una respuesta, ya sea que acepta o no acepta. Ok, oh, thank you so much for, you know, taking into account, but in this moment I can't because I had to go to my job and I don't have time to do that one. Entonces, eh, usted ahí le va a decir de, a su grupo, dentro del grupo, que no puede, ¿verdad? Entonces, o okay, que si puede, si lo quiere hacer, lo va a hacer. Le va a dar una respuesta, no sabemos qué. Pero sí necesito ahorita que en este momento usted escriba un correo eh, ya que se lo va a compartir en el grupo entonces puede elegir ahí este, no le ponga el nombre porque no sabemos con quién le va a tocar en el Breaker Rooms entonces, pero sí, este, vaya dirigido a alguien de la clase y ahí le va a poner qué cosas le va a pedir ok, ¿qué le pediría a usted Santiago, a alguien de sus compañeros? what would you ask? well, let me see uh, money, maybe <laughs> ok, to Jaime for example, o Karen <laughs> yes, I need some money, buddy. <laughs> okay, I accept donations. You know, he says that he accepts donations. Yes, the teleton. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> I, I will give you some time right now to think about what what would you like to ask. And something interesting about this email is that you had to um be very formal when you request something. And don't forget to do that one because it's important. When we ask something to someone, we have to be very, very polite in the way we request. Entonces, cuando usted vaya a escribir su correo, pues trate de ser muy formal, muy polite, eh, muy educado para solicitar algo. Hey, you know, good, good evening. How are you? It's a pleasure to greet you, my friend. The reasons what I'm sharing here is because I need your help. Uh, some days ago, I had some problems with my car. But I, I didn't have time to go to the to the workshop to be checked. But suddenly I was going to my job and suddenly my, you know, the my car didn't work. And I was like, I have been waiting and I need your help. So, entonces usted ahí eh, escribe eso para compartírselo a su compañero. Así que les, yo les voy a dar unos minutitos. I will give you a couple of minutes. I will give you like around three, four minutes to think about it. And also try to write a good email. And if you have questions or doubt, you have a freedom to ask questions and I can help you with that. And also we can work with the vocabulary. Okay, so let's go and see what happened.
Okay, students, meanwhile, you work in your email. Um, I will take advantage about passing the attendance list. So if you can allow me one moment, I will be calling you and you say present. Um, remember that it's very important writing, especially because in, we can you know, try to, to organize our ideas in a writing. We have to think about what uh, statements are we going to write or what grammar structures we will use for these uh, activities. So writing is a very important uh, way or skills that can help us to practice English and check skills because it's not just speaking and listening. It goes beyond because we have to listen, we have to understand, we have to speak, we have to read, especially when you see an article or something that you start reading and you understand what you read and also write too. Writing it's a very vital skill you know, that we need to practice because sometimes people don't don't write. I mean, they can listen, they can speak, they can, um, you know, write, but, you know, writing, it's very, very necessary, especially when we are studying English in a, in a high level. So it's very recommendable. So don't forget because it's necessary, you know, to, to practice uh, where we are. And also one of these courses is that when you can take a short time, to produce the language. Okay, I will be calling you and also you say present, please. Um, Brigitte Lisset Eraso. Present, teacher. Thanks. Uh, Carmen Guadalupe Camilla. Present, teacher. Thank you. Uh, Cesar Alexander Ramirez. Present. Thanks. Dina Elizabeth Flores. Present teacher. Thanks. Uh, Edith Araceli Guzman. Present teacher. Thank you. Eduardo Alexander Diaz. Present teacher. Thanks. Um, Elvis Aníbal Rauda. Present teacher. Thank you. Emerson Alexander Mejia. Emerson. Uh, Neida Jamilet Gonzalez. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Jaime Roberto Aldana. Present. Uh, Javier Ernesto Lucero. Present. Uh, Karen Suleima Ceseña. Present. Laura Michelle Arce. Present teacher. Thank you. Maria Catalina Correa. Present teacher. Thanks. Uh, Marvin Fernando Marcel. Present teacher. Thank you. Morena Guadalupe Fuentes. Present teacher. Thanks. Uh, Oscar Alberto Rodriguez. Oscar. Raquel Arely Santos. Present. Santiago Antonio Chavez. Present teacher. Thank you. And Sara Nalda Guzman. Present teacher. Okay, thank you so much. All right, so that's okay. So I would like to ask you, are you ready? Yes, I am. Yes, yes. Perfect. Yes, so, okay. I'm ready. That's really important. Okay, so just like part of the instructions about this activity is that you had to, in your group, you will read your message. You will read your email and your partners as part of the practice have to give you an answer. Imagine that we are four in the group and you select someone from your group and you read the email and this person has to give you an answer. In this case, it's going to be an spontaneous answer. Oh, yes, I understand, but don't worry. I can help you with that. Oh, I'm sorry because I'm, I'm busy, so I won't be able to help you with that. Entonces, usted lo va a leer en el grupo, se lo va a leer a uno de sus compañeros que está en el grupo, dedicado a alguien del grupo, y a esa persona que usted mencionó le tiene que dar una respuesta. Le va a decir que sí o le va a decir que no. Va a depender de la persona como parte de la práctica. That's one of the ways. And we're going to create the breakout rooms and you will practice English, right? Remember that... 
if there is something that maybe is not well written or perhaps the words are not pronounced properly, you can help as a group or you can also call me and I will be more than glad to help you with this one. Any question before we go on to the breakup rooms? Do you have any questions or doubt? Uh, questions? I have one question. Yep. How much time? How much time do we have to do that? Oh, in that case, because we have groups of three, four members. I mean, we know not too many groups, so we're gonna take less than five minutes, five minutes or less. Okay. I will, I will be okay. monitoring. Okay. Yes, I will be monitoring, um, the group so to make sure that you know we finish before before the five minutes. We can be like two or three, depending the information that you will share to your classmates. Thank you. Okay, uh, something else that you would like to add, students, or any question you have. No, okay, so let's work. Let's see. Sorry, teacher, estoy teniendo problemas de conexión. Okay, Emerson, thanks for letting me know about it. Okay, I will take that into account, thanks. Okay, so let's work in the breakout room. So let's see how many members we have. Okay, I got it. Let's see in this one. Okay, let's work in the groups. Hi, Brigitte. Good evening, teacher. Hi. Um, I can see that you you didn't you didn't receive the notification for joining. Okay. Look, to look at this screen. Look at your screen, please. And Carmen. Hi, teacher. Hello. Otra vez, soy yo sola, quizás. No, no ha aceptado la invitación. ¿Cómo no? Ya la acepté. No. Me, no ahora me mandó para el grupo 4. Sí, pero no estaba ahí. La voy a mandar otra vez al grupo anterior. Ah, así... está bien. Vale, así que la acepta. Right. Yes. <coughs> uh, oops. Yo, yo no compartí eso, ¿verdad? We didn't inform email records. I really need a feel small favor. Mm. 
o puede escribirlo así. Sorry guys, I was I was having oh Marvin some... Hi oh. oh I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm so sorry for I'm this so moment sorry. it's pero en inglés tienes que mandármelo Yes I am sorry I I'm so sorry oh. for this moment. Excuse yes. me, Morena. Did you? Okay. No, one moment, please. Okay, I'm sorry because uh, I was I was being disconnecting disconnected for for a moment because um I have problems with my connect internet connection. Okay. This, 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 this. Yes. Uh, I, I send Jaime. Yes, thank you. The email said, I am not really more people. I am vacation this weekend. Yes. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> mm. A little behind. At the moment, sorry. No problem, Eduardo. Thank you. For, for, for. For 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 read for read me for leer me for leer me sí sería así. Y es al me. Let's continue, compañeros. Sigamos. Continue. Sara. Okay. 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 Me. My. Me. Okay. Okay. Uh, hello. How are you, friend? I wanted to ask you a favor. If you can pick me up tomorrow and at 6 a.m. because I ran out of uh, the car, my car. Um, para Emerson, for Emerson. Oh my God. <laughs> Repeat, please. Repeat, please. Please, please. No, 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 Okay, Emerson. Hello, how are you, Emerson? I wanted to ask you a favor. If you can pick me if tomorrow at 6 a.m. because I ride out of um, my car. Mm. Let's, let's I know, got it. I Le estoy pidiendo por ella mañana a las seis. Ah, yes. Ah, yes. Ah, yes. Ah, yes. Ah, yes. Hmm. Is it am I or the afternoon? Eight a.m. a.m. Okay. Uh, uh, the morning. The morning. That's right. Yes. 
Madrugada. Thank you. Thank you, Demerson. Oh, es, eso no es madrugar. Tres y media me levanto yo. Lo puedo intentar. Me deja intentarlo. <laughs> dele, dele. My email is from Karen. My God. Okay. Subject is uh, favors. Karen, how are you? I'm sorry for my horror, but I can need uh, the copy uh, for the section 3.4. Oh. <laughs> very good, very good. Okay. Very nice. Okay, it's nice. It's, 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 it's a good. Okay. It's a good. Uh, so yeah, I I am really appreciate to help you. I send oh. I send picture. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, picture. The send the send a picture on the WhatsApp. Diga así, picture, 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 picture. Ajá, es como cuando ustedes dicen good evening y no es good evening, es good evening. Good evening. No, evening. 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 Ajá, good pero más rápido. Buenas tardes. Good evening. Good evening. Ajá. All right. Ok, ahora okay. sí. Dina. Bárbaros. Okay. Dina, Dina Elizabeth. Eh, por favor, sí. Amino, Dina. Por favor, Amino, a César. Sí, <laughs> Dina. Yeah. César, tengo. What? Hello, César. Hello, could, how are you? Could you... Tell me. Could you... Could you with the exercise uh, to spot for us the platform, please? I had not uh, understood in what. I need to finish it as soon as possible. Me quedó pendiente dos, el 2.4. Siempre me daba error. <laughs> no, it's a, it's a good day. No me recuerda quién se lo mande. Pero sí estaba, estaba, es que eso da, da problemas. Si sí, me permiten, les comparto la pantalla. Yo creo que está, sí, o la Thank termino. You. Dice que ustedes son un grupo bien unido, porque yo estaba de 8 a 9. Con las que, formas modales. Que podríamos cada uno leerlo así. Hello. Digamos, como que Morena. Hello, hello teacher. Oh, okay. How are you going? It's doing great now. You finish or you're still. Um... Just a little. Uh, one minute. One more minute, please. Because okay. one, one, to... one. Excellent. Okay, take your time. Don't worry. Hi, I read. Yes, I yes, read. please. Okay. Please. Okay. I read. Hi, Hi. Edgardo. I really okay. need a help. <laughs> Who wants to start? Marvin or Morena? Hmm. Morena. Me? Okay. Okay. Um, quiero. Um, Hi, Jaime. I really need a small uh, favor. Can you take mm -hmm. care of my pet while in, I am on vacation this weekend? Thank you, Jaime. Hi, Morena. Kind regret, regrets. I'm really sorry, but I had some little deals to, to attend. But if you tell me the time you need it, I could help you. Okay. Thank you, Jaime. Congratulations. Okay, so For Marvin. Yeah, yeah, uh, this is my, okay, este, Edward, mm, este, from, from me to Edward, so it's hello, I need a help, I would like you help me with a question 3.4, Eduardo, please, you can help me. <laughs> Hi Marvin. The, the answers. I am, I am I am a little behind at the moment. I'm sorry. So sorry. So congratulations, partners. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. I yo siento ahorita me siento perdidísimo <laughs> en este módulo. Realmente tengo ganas de tirar la toalla. <laughs> 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 
No, 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 no. Hi, teacher. Hey, hello, how are you? Fine, and you? Good. Teacher, me volví a quedar sola quizás porque las compañeras no las escucho hablar. No sé si será... Es que aquí ya estamos en el general. No sé si se salió otra vez porque... No, teacher. Ya le voy a mandar el screenshot de mi pantalla. Pero fíjese que no... Siempre estamos... Siempre estoy en el grupo, se supone. Ok, so perhaps they didn't participate. So we will check that. Thank you. Me voy a volver... Me voy a volver a salir mejor y voy a tratar la no, manera de entrar. Aquí ya estamos, ya estamos en general, es decir, aquí vienen todos ya. Así que aquí nos ah, quedamos. Va. Yeah. Ah, bye. So, well, and there are different things to do, you know, trying to, you know, write emails and also work with requests and different things. Okay, so... I was listening to some groups like talking about, you know, uh, working with emails, uh, requesting some and things. And that is one of the ways, right? We can also practice. We can also, you know, work with words and uh, we can like start building our knowledge. We go step by step. Entonces, ahí vamos como construyendo un poquito el, 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 the knowledge. So we are like learning a step by step vocabulary expressions in English and I just want to congratulate the group because I could see that you um, requested good and interesting things so congratulations for that one así que felicitar a la mayoría pues ahí estuve escuchando las, los requerimientos y pues se escuchó muy bien o sea se les entendía lo que ustedes pedían y algunos compañeros rechazaron, otros aceptaron, por ahí era <laughs> parte de la práctica. And that is something that we had to do, guys. Well, work with the practice. So, and uh, we will continue with the re next activity that we have. So congratulations for all of you to do this one. And we have uh, collocations. This is pretty easy, guys. Look at this one. And I need a volunteer for helping me to read the instructions of the part A. Who wants to be the volunteer to, to read the part A, please? Yes. Me, teacher. Okay, thank you so much. Which verbs is not usually paired with the H now? Put a line through the verbs and compare with a partner. Thank you. One, okay. Oh, continue. Sorry. Okay. I'll offer do accept an apology. Do return make receive a phone call. Return do ask for make a favor. Receive accept turn down offer an invitation. Make Danny offer refuse a request. Danny, receive, give, refuse, a gift, receive, return, do, give, a compliment. Okay, so what you had to do, guys, is like you had to see in parentheses for each one. You had to check um, which verb is not usually paired with each noun. We have own, offer, do, and accept. So check and circle or select the verb that doesn't fit in this sentence, okay? So I will give you a couple of minutes and then you can help me to select the verb that doesn't match, the verb that doesn't go with you right there. So you say, you know what, teacher, I think it's not, right? And remember that at the end of the class, we just give a feedback to make sure that, that, um, that the answer is correct so we can help each other. So let's go with that and good luck. Remember that if you have questions or doubts, you can ask questions and I will be more than glad to help you. Recuerden que si tienen una duda, pues ustedes pueden preguntar. Ahí, pues yo les ayudo. Okay. Let's go. You have three minutes to select these possible answers. Let's go.
Okay, let's compare the answers together. The first one, which verb doesn't match with the possible complement? Hello? There's, there's like um, a favor. Uh, the first one. The first one, mm -hmm. uh, a favor. Mm, yeah, but but in this case you had to check which verb eh, is not usually pair. Es decir, cuál de esos verbos no va con lo demás. Por ejemplo, you can see that. Well, so actually it's good, right? Um, hay un verbo. Ajá. What? Do. Do, Do an apology. Eh, own significa eh, como decir deber, o sea, es como oh, you owe me an apology, right? Como que me debes una, una, una disculpa. Entonces, do sería el que no combina ahí. ¿Qué dicen ustedes? Yes. 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 Do an apology. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. The, um, could be a possible answer in that case. Of, of course, right? And the most common is like, you know, offer an apology. It, it, La verdad que, pues, mereces una, una disculpa. Yes. And in that case, and excellent. Do. Number two. Do return. Do what? Return. Return. Return a phone call? Return. Regresar una llamada telefónica? Do, do. 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 Do, right? Make a phone call and yes. receive a phone call. And return. Make and receive. Si van con a phone call. Entonces, como que do, that's and go. Okay. Uh, number three. Ask for, ask, ask for a favor. Okay. Ask for a favor. Make return. a favor. Yes. No. Um, ¿Qué significa mm. la palabra ask for? Significa preguntar por, right? Como requerir, solicitar, right? Preguntar, entonces como que that's a match, right? Yes. So, do too. Uh, do, a, do si se ocupa, do me a favor. ¿Puedes yeah, hacerme un favor? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Igual, make a... Return a favor. Return mm -hmm. es como regresar, right? ¿Puedes regresarme el favor? Mm -hmm. So that mm -hmm. we can also uh, accept, it, right? Um, can we make make a favor? Uh, also, it's like not so common, right? To use instead of saying do. Um, no es muy común, la verdad, utilizar make a favor. Pero también es como decir haz un favor cuando te dicen you know make a favor. Uh -huh. But it is not yes. formal. It's better to say do a favor. Y ask for que significa preguntar por. No va a preguntar por un favor, no sé, I don't know. Unless That's the... it. Yeah. So, it's made. Could, Entonces, it's made. Could be made. Be... Ask for. Ask for. Made. Yeah, es que. Yeah, and ask for. Ask for, en este caso, pero ask for tiene varios significados. Por ejemplo, si yo digo ask for, como decir pedir, solicitar también. A menos que usted diga, you know, ask for a favor. Es decir, solicitar un favor. Entonces nos quedaría make como una opción no una favorable. Yeah, exactly. Because eh, es mejor decir do me a favor. Could you do me a favor? Puedes mm -hmm. hacerme un favor instead of make. Okay, number four. Receive the second offer. offer. Receive an invitation, a second invitation, offer an invitation. Turn down will be the best choice. Excellent. Turn down like doesn't match. Yes. Number five. Make deny offer refuse. Maybe make make a request. Make a request. I think. Mm. No. Deny request. What's the meaning? What's the deny. Deny. deny a deny. request. Deny offer. is deny is cuando decimos negar when you say that you don't do something. Mm -hmm. it's, from, como, it's like we say at a state that one refuses to admit something like um, 
it's like we say re rehusar. Oh. Yeah. Which one? Offer, teacher. It's offer. 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 Offer a request. Ofrecer un. Offer a request. Doesn't match, right? Yes. Mm hmm. Sounds interesting. It's offer, right? Yeah. Um, request is como solicitar algo, right? Entonces, como que no, no va, verdad? Request and offer. So I think that's a match, right? Okay, me parece muy bien. That would be a good choice. And the next one, number six, a gift. Deny. Deny, Deny a gift. Receive a gift, give a gift, refuse a gift. Okay, deny could be, yes, mm -hmm. deny could be a good choice. Have you refused a gift? By any chance, have you received a gift? Uh, refused a gift? ¿Ya rechazado algún uh, regalo? Yes. yes. Wow. Yes. Interesting. Because uh, yes, sometimes uh, when you feel a little like uncomfortable with the price of the gift, for example. Ah, uh, okay. You are like a little uncomfortable, so you refused. Okay. That makes sense to me. So you 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 don't feel comfortable, okay? And the next one, um, seven, a compliment. Maybe will be do a compliment. Do, do a compliment. Receive a compliment. Return a compliment is okay, and give a mm -hmm. compliment. Yes. So do doesn't match right. Oh. And do you know what is the meaning about compliment? Cumplido. Compliment. Yeah, it's Compliment. it's a polite. Yes. Compliido. Yeah, because a compliment is a polite expression or praise or admiration for someone. You say, mm -hmm. "Wow, you are very smart," or oh, "You are one of the best students in this class." So you are giving a compliment. You are saying something positive and interesting about a person. That's right. That's what we call a compliment. Okay, that's great. Congratulations. You did a great job today. So some minutes before that we conclude the class, we will take advantage about this one to complete this exercise. Um, perspectives. And who wants to help me to read the, the information like instructions in the part eight? Who wants to do it? Me, teacher. Okay. Many people talk on Jeff's assistant while Jeff was away at lunch today. Listen all their message. Okay, so we can see that one. And the first one is, could you tell Jeff that Tony is having a party on Friday night? Can you ask Jeff to do me a favor and pick up a pizza on his way home? Number three, could you ask Jeff what he would like me to get him for his birthday? Number four, could you tell Jeff that there, there will be a staff meeting on Friday at 10? Number five, Jeff is picking me up after basketball practice. Can you tell him not to be late? Number six, Please tell Jeff that I owe him an apology. I forgot about our date last night. Number seven. Can you ask Jeff to return my cold? I need to know where his report will be ready. Number eight. Could you, could you ask Jeff whether he can come to class on Friday night instead of Thursday? Okay, look at this uh, possible examples uh, about some requests uh, because many people talk to Jeff assistant while Jeff is away at lunch today. Look at this one. And also the part B says, uh, who do you think left each message? More than one answer is possible. Could be his boss, his girlfriend, his mother, his Spanish teacher. Oh, his younger sister. For the number one, his girlfriend. 
Could you tell Jeff that Tony is having a party on Friday night? I think. Mm -hmm. That Tony right. is having... Could be his girlfriend. Any other mm -hmm. possible answer that you can also... His, Friends. his young sister and his his mother, in my opinion, could be mm -hmm. some possible. Okay. Yeah. All right. That, that makes sense to me. Number two. His mother. To do me a favor and pick up a pizza in his way home. Okay, his mother. And his, his younger, younger sister. sister. Uh, okay, so the, the second one is about family. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Okay, great. What about the number three? His mother, maybe. Okay. Okay, his mother. Okay, could be his mother. His, his, his girlfriend. Ah, his girlfriend too. Okay. Yeah, so that makes sense to me too. That's right. And the his next friends one. Too. Okay. Yeah. And the next one. Um. Will you tell me yes, what days will be a stop meeting in Friday? His boss. His boss. His, his boss. <laughs> Okay, um, can you tell Jeff that there will be a, a staff meeting on Friday at 10? Yes, uh, definitely that could be his boss because he's given an instruction about meeting. And Speaking me and after basketball practice, can oh. you tell him no to be late? Okay, I think you have his younger sister. His younger sister. Uh -huh. Yes, definitely his younger sister. Number six. Get a girlfriend. Um, tell Jeff that I own him an apology. I forgot about our date. Ah, yes, definitely his girlfriend. Okay. Woo. Definitely. Woo. <laughs> yeah. And the next one, number seven. His boss. His boss. His boss. His boss. His boss. Yeah. His teacher. Um, did the teacher will call to the office? No, really. No, yeah, no, really. Boss. Yeah, his boss. Uh, definitely. And the last one. Um, could you ask Jeff whether he can come to class on Friday night instead of Thursday? He's a Spanish, Spanish teacher. teacher. He's a Spanish, oh. Spanish teacher. He's a Spanish teacher. Yeah. So in that case, he's learning Spanish. Okay, that's it. Okay, they are. He's learning Spanish, and we're learning English. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Okay, students. Well, um, that is all for today. Thank you so much for the work done here in the class today, and also because your effort. So, congratulations for the work done, and have a beautiful night to all of you. I hope to see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, Thank teacher. You, teacher. Tomorrow. Thank, Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Bye, Bye. 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 Bye guys. Take care. Thank you, teacher. You too.